Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, we have a hockey story coming from the Dino Dino Deeker himself, Deekasaurus Rex. I think the Dino was a little uh, mischaracterized, but nonetheless, we have a story. And before I get into the story, I just want to say thank you guys. I reached 200 subs, and I'm finally back from Hawaii. It was a great time. I loved it out there. A lot of things to do. But uh, let's get back into Deek's story. And so Deek starts off. Starts off with, growing up, I wasn't the biggest hockey fan. Till about second or third grade, I barely watched it, maybe like 20 or 30 games a season. Of course I was a Devils fan, by the way. One of the first games I went to was against the Thrashers, and of course Kobe scored the game. If you don't know who Kobe is, that's Kovalchuk. Lost my place. Oh, there it is. And he really stood out to me, and I was always watching him. Not really knowing much about him, then as the year slowly went on for hockey, I began I began to know more about hockey and watch more hockey. And in the sixth grade, I knew every player and watched every Devils game and went to so many. And a guy by the name of Ilya Kovalchuk was my favorite player outside of the Devils. Shortly after the trade happened during a Rangers-Capitals game, I watched saying Adoya Berg is a rookie and a first round pick for Ilya Kovalchuk. I was literally shocked and couldn't believe it. I was so excited and couldn't wait to see him play. When he got here, it was one of the biggest days of my life. The first game he played in, we were down 3-1 to one versus the Leafs in the final three five minutes, and believe it or not, we came back and won regulation. Kovalchuk didn't score but received two assists, and such an awesome moment without him, we wouldn't have won. I would go to games just to see Kovalchuk. He was such an entertaining player and brought so much excitement. I shortly after bought a jersey of him. I also forgot to mention my number for hockey is 17. And I liked his style of play so much and looked to looked up to him so much. Then a few years went by and one of the saddest days happened. On a good off season, we got Ryder, Schneider, and Clow and felt we were we were a top four team. Then I received the terrible notice saying Ilya Kovalchuk retired from the NHL at age 30. I was in shock for days and I still don't feel like it's real. One part of me wants to hate him and thinks he's a traitor, and the other half can't because I always looked up to the guy and feel like he was such an inspiration to me. And that's Deke's hockey story. And I can sort of appreciate the ups and downs with hockey uh, as a Capitals fan. It's like every year you think it's going to be your year, you know, at least in D.C., uh, to go deep into the playoffs and... It doesn't happen, and the blame gets tossed around, but that's another story for another day. But Deke, you know, his story I think is very different than the others because uh, his is watching a team that he loves, and, you know, the the fall of losing Kovalchuk, I think when, it's funny to joke about on Twitter and stuff, but when you're, when you're a fan of the team, like that's like Ovechkin for me going to back to Russia and saying, screw the NHL. And it sets the franchise back. Kobe is a, is a first liner sets them back. I mean, it, it hurts and you lose some marketing. I mean, I know they got, uh, they got Schneider, but still man, Kobe is an all-star and so is Schneider in some ways, but they don't have that, you know, that ticket holder that people are going to go see. You know, when the Caps come into town, people want to see Ovi. Well, the Devils really don't have that anymore, but uh, they do have pieces in place. And I hope, I wish them the best of luck because I think Schneider was a key piece for the future. But anyways, if you guys are wondering what this is and you stumbled upon this video, it's a, it's hockey, my hockey story. It's a series I do on my channel and I can honestly say no one else does this, but what it is is if you're a subscriber and you have a story about how you came to fall in love with hockey, because let's face it, hockey fans are a little bit different than everyone else, then submit your story. Just put in the subject hockey story and you can go into as much detail as you want and I will le link your channel below. And the only thing I, re I request is that you are a subscriber of mine and then your story can be featured on this channel for the rest of the community of subscribers and hopefully that builds you know it gets me it allows me to get to know you guys better and you guys get to know other subscribers better and it's a win-win for everyone it's sort of like an ice cream cone for 50 cents at mcdonald's you know everyone wins so i hope you guys have a great day take care peace